Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. This is a very exciting part of the travel trailer build for me. Eddie is about to go high tech. I have a really exciting announcement and I have partnered up with Battleborn Batteries and they will be providing me all of the gear to wire up Eddie with a state of the art electrical system. So in this video, I will be going over every item that Battleborn supplied me. Um, full disclosure, Battleborn has provided me all these items for free in uh, exchange for working together um, in a collaborated effort to uh, promote their products. But um, lucky for me, I was going to get their stuff anyways, and uh, it's just worked out, so I've benefited from that. One of the perks of uh, filming my travel trailer build. Um, but having said that, uh, they are a absolute great company to work with, and I, I say that right from the heart because I am not an electrician, and uh, I reached out to them um, for a variety of reasons and also for some instruction and uh, direction on how to install this stuff. Because I got to be honest with you, I have been so intimidated about wiring the electrical for this trailer. It's, uh, my head has been spinning watching YouTube videos. There's not a lot of YouTube videos on how to wire a travel trailer. If you want to do van life, there's a million videos out there to see how all the vans are wired. But with vans, you know, they're hooking up to um, the alternators and, and different battery systems and uh, the van system is not like a trailer system. So in this video, what makes I think this video unique is that I sat down with Battleborn on a Zoom meeting and I explained to them what I wanted. So this is custom to Eddie. So I sat down with uh, two girls from Battleborn on a Zoom meeting. They asked me a bunch of questions, what I expected, what I was going to run. And uh, for the most part with Eddie, I'll be running um, two um, exhaust fans in the ceiling. I'll be running uh, some lights. I'll be running a water pump, um, charging my laptops, a, a lights outside maybe an induction cooktop, running a fridge. So we went over all that detail and based on what I told them my power needs are going to be, it gave me an itemized list of all the things that I would need. Now that was really reassuring for me because again, um, I was having a lot of trouble trying to kind of figure out what I needed. I would watch videos and it seems like every video suggested something different or that sort of thing. And Battleborn really took all the guesswork out of it. And because it's such a huge expense, um, I didn't want to risk uh, screwing that up. So if you're thinking about buying some Battleborn products of your own, wait till the end of the video and I will give you my affiliate link that will save you a significant amount of money on your order. Um, I, you know, I will get a little bit of a kickback, but it does help with the channel and making the, these videos for you. I am way behind um, schedule. This has taken me so long. It's a labor of love. I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. But uh, if you've been watching, the slide out kitchen took me way longer than I was hoping. And I'm still not even close to being done inside the trailer, as you can see. So um, I'm excited about getting the Battleborn products installed. So as you know, if you've been watching the videos, Eddie is a 12 foot by 7 foot travel trailer that I've been building myself. So just to give you an idea of what uh, size of trailer we're talking about here, um, we'll first talk about the Game Changer batteries. So these are 270 watt hour um, lithium batteries. They're heated. They are basically the top of the line battery that Battleborn makes. They're, uh, the, I believe they're their newest battery right now. So I have two of them. So I have a total of 540 watt hours of power on board. And I'll be going with the Victron 3000 watt inverter and I'll be going over the wiring, the fuses and that sort of thing that will be required for this setup. I'll also be eventually installing solar panels on the trailer. So I have uh, in my garage right now two 180 watt solar panels that I will be installing uh, onto the roof of Eddie and hooking up to the system that I have here as well. So one of the biggest challenges will be to find the best location and layout for all this gear to maximize a very small space. So this area of Eddy is going to be the batteries, the inverter. Um, I'm going to have to fit a water tank in here, the water pump, and kind of all the, oh, the water heater. So somehow I have to, I have this tower up here. So 
this space is going to come out. So I'm limited to the height here because I'm going to build the bed so that it expands to about here. And this drawer here will be to access the kitchen. So I need to have that. Uh, so I can only go to here. So I th I'm thinking this is where will be the batteries will go. There's quite a bit of space back here. I'm either going to uh, install the inverter. On a, this is going to be a wall. I don't know if you see this two by four here. So this will be the dividing wall straight up. And if I put the inverter kind of about this height, the wires run from underneath the inverter. So um, the batteries are probably, the, I don't know if you can hear my uh, stove in my uh, slide out kitchen. It rattles around at the easiest thing. So, um, you know, when you build something, it seems like a perfect idea. And then there's always something I got to go back and correct. So if you can hear the, uh, the stove rattle, it, it's, it'll be a problem. So I'm going to have to uh, think about something to fix that. Uh, but anyway, so uh, the inverter probably will be here. I'm also constantly worrying about balancing the weight. This is some of the heaviest stuff inside the trailer. So ideally, um, I want them over the wheels, um, in the middle of the trailers. So that's why I'm kind of pushing the batteries a little more toward the middle of the trailer. And this inverter is pretty heavy too. So I think it's like 50 pounds. So somehow you're gonna have a water tank here. And I'm always conscious of making sure I have weight on the right hand side um, so that it's, it's balanced well, right? Um, so I'll give you a kind of a closer view of what I expect to do here. And um, anyways, getting back to the inverter, the wires right underneath it. If I need to access and when I wire all this stuff, um, the batteries are kind of the easiest thing to take out where really you just have a couple of connections and I can take the batteries out of the way. And then I would be able to access this area to do all the wiring because I know from watching enough of these videos it is going to become a mess of wires back there once I start installing all of the components. So you got to factor that in. So also right now I'll show you more of the components that uh, Battleborn sent me that I have to make room for and consider where they're going. Okay. So lots of wires, fuses, uh, the battery monitor. This is something that I have to consider where it's going to go. And there's gauges on here that I need to think about where they're going to be where I can actually look at them um, kind of at a glance. So again this tower I'm talking about here the wall that comes up right here is where I believe I will kind of install the monitor and um, small things like this that I need to see, or this may go in here with fuse boxes and that sort of thing. So um, I wanna make sure that I have enough room that it's not completely crammed, but I'm not wasting space. You know, for a little, because everything, you're talking about four aught wire um, from the batteries to the inverter and uh, to, you know, I got to deal with fuses like this. So all these things need space so that you can do it properly. Um, these are big wires that don't exactly um, bend really easy. So I need to lay all that out and make the best use of the space. So I'm pretty confident that this will be a good way of doing it. So these are just a few of the items that came with my setup here that I have to install in this area. The install build will be coming up in the future. So if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, I want to stress that I am not an electrician. So um, if I'm able to do this, you will be confident that you will be able to do this if you are ever installing Battleborn batteries and this sort of gear into your trailer as well. So now in the video, I will give you a detailed list of everything that I got from Battleborn. If you're thinking of purchasing something from Battleborn, here is my link. This will give you a discount when you go to their website and purchase some of your products. I appreciate you using that. You'll get a good discount and you'll help me out and help my channel out too. So it's uh, very much appreciated. So I hope you liked the video. Wish me luck with this project. This is one of the most intimidating things that I've done yet. And hopefully I will be seeing you next time. Hopefully on a camping video, I have some trips planned uh, in the immediate future. 
I recently was just setting up my new hammock and I'll be taking that on my spring trout fishing trip and I'll be for the first time camping in a hammock. I'm pretty confident that uh, I got the right setup that I'll be very comfortable in. So I'm looking forward to that and uh, taking Eddie on some trips uh, in the near future as well. So hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe for more videos. Thanks. Cheers.